on this video you are going to see about uh, two new uh, features on the object inspector which are very helpful when designing uh, forms uh, let's create a, a new form the first feature is a, a panel uh, this is new for this release and in this panel you see uh, a short description about the property is selected on the uh, object inspector you see if you uh, change the active property this panel shows uh, a little text to let you know uh, what that property is about this works also for sub properties so it's very handy this information is uh, extracted directly from the PHP source code so uh, if you develop uh, third-party components uh, it's, uh, it will work also on this new release for example in this case the doc type property of the page component we are going to browse to it and now search doc type that documentation is on this block you see here now we are going to change it to something else save and now if we browse again uh, the change is reflected on the on the panel so it's uh, very nice okay let's put things uh, clean okay and now it works this panels this panel can can be resized because maybe there is information that doesn't fit let's check if we can find for example this one okay uh, the second uh, feature uh, I want to show is that uh, like in previous version uh, controls and components can have uh, uh, component editors that is uh, when the user uh, right clicks on the component you can select uh, actions to be shown on the uh, pop-up menu and when those actions are clicked you can react to those clicks on this uh, version uh, apart from having those actions on the pop-up menu uh, those actions are al also shown on the object inspector so they work exactly the same so this is very nice because you don't need to select uh, visually a component to show the the actions for it and also I'm going to show you that all this is uh, dynamic uh, because uh, we are using PHP language and I'm going to show you where those actions are set up when you create a component on the package you can select to register a component editor for a class in this case we are telling the IDE that uh, for the class button uses a component editor called test component editor which is a store on uh, design id uh, dot in dot php so let's open this file and that component editor is placed here it, it, it inherits from the base class component editor and uh, on you just need to overwrite two, two methods the, the first one is get verbs where you dump all the actions you want to have you see here and they are here and on execute verb depending on the verb uh, um, the user wants to execute you uh, ex execute one action or another and all this is leaf because if we change this now you get the, the new result okay so I think it's, it's pretty pretty nice Okay, so this is it for this uh, video. Uh, I hope you like it. Bye.